Hi, you haven't seen Kilala around, have you? No, not me. No? Something happened to Kilala? I haven't seen her since I woke up. She was already gone. Maybe she went for a walk. Hmm? I don't know. She would never go off without telling me. Is it possible she could have run away? <sighs> Maybe she's just in heat. Or at that rebellious stage. Huh? What are you guys saying? You're supposed to be reassuring her, not making her worry. What's up? It's Big Jack Films here, and welcome back to the Inuyasha Vlogs. We are on the final two episodes of Season 4. Though I know technically for those who are hardcore fans who have the DVDs, no, they are not the final two episodes, but hey, my show, my rules, I'll discuss it later. So, um, we are on the second last episode this week, and then next week we do essentially the season finale. And that, of course, being this episode... Um, titled, uh, Kilala Come Home. Now, I should point out that I have not been the biggest fan of season four. I felt the filler episodes have been completely some of the worst of the series, some of the worst episodes. But, unfortunately, this is one of those filler episodes, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. It was kind of pointless, to be honest, but it did have some merits. So what's the story in this one? Um, the short version is, uh, Kilala has gone missing for the day. Nobody knows where she is, everybody's questioning each other, and Sango is worried sick. And it, anybody who has had a pet go missing can kind of understand where she's coming from, and you can feel kind of her emotions and stuff. And these are, this is like, I think, the first episode out of like two or three where this kind of scenario happens, where Kilala goes missing, Sango cries, and then she comes back, and then something happens. But... Um, obviously there is a lot of comedy involved, there's, uh, Shippo accusing everybody of doing stuff with Kilala, and it's funny because they show that Inuyasha was using Kilala to train how to use the Tetsaiga, which I thought, oh god, this is gonna be a, a clip show, isn't it? Oh god, this is gonna be awful. But it wasn't the case, they actually did have some other, um, little clips and stuff from previous adventures that were unexplored, like, that where characters did use Kilala, i.e. Moroku, uh, Kagome, and all of them had had Kilala on hand for specific, uh, things they were doing. And so basically everybody's worried sick about her, wondering where she went. And then they come across a monkey demon who they think, oh no, eight Kilala, let's go kill this thing. And they kill him, they slay him. I mean, one less demon to worry about. But it turns out Kilala is still around and she just went on a mission with, uh, Miyoga, the flea demon, to get a whetstone for Inuyasha Tetsaiga so they could sharpen it. And that's about it. That's why she went missing. And all the clues were there. Shippo jumped to conclusions, forgot about his task, and they end up kicking the shit out of him. Um, I will say this, too, about that. I do like the little extra details there where um, swords like that do, new, do need uh, whetstones. In fact, I mean, you look at Lord of the Rings, uh, there's a behind-the-scenes little uh, interesting fact that Viggo Mortensen had asked for a wet sharpening stone for his sword as uh, Aragorn. And it's a little detail that he added to his costume and his uh, prop uh, that the Weta team and the costume designers added. But it's kind of the same thing here with Inuyasha and the Tatsaga. You know, obviously you need to sharpen your sword when you're traveling around and you're slicing stuff. So that was a nice little added uh, detail. But the episode itself was... Eh, it was okay. I don't really know much to add on this one other than, obviously, the animation's pretty solid. And um, it does just... It's just there, essentially. There's not really much right to talk about. But in terms of why I think these are the last two episodes of the season, I might as well bring this up now before we get to the season finale, um, is the fact that these are the last two episodes of the series to include uh, cell animation. Now, cell animation is um, obviously the hand-drawn stuff. Basically, they do it all, they hand-draw it, and they put it out there. And then come the turn of, like, 2000, uh, I want to say late 2003, mid-2003, when season four aired, um, or actually, no, this was also 2002, actually, my, my mistake, 2002, um, a lot of anime started to make the jump to digital. Uh, a lot of shows, in fact, made the jump to uh, computer and uh, digital uh, animation. Now, they still have the same 
anime, like it was still hand-drawn animation, it was just all done in the digital realm to make things a lot easier for the animators and be more environmental. However, my only issue is that, and I'll get to this when we get to season five next year, is that I am not a big a fan of the change of uh, color and tone uh, with the later seasons because it's too clean, it doesn't feel used and dirty like the previous uh, seasons have been, where everything was more clouded and it added to the more darker atmosphere of the show. But in this case, um, the, these are the last two episodes to incorporate the old school style. And next week, for sure, I'm actually going to look forward to talking to because um, it's a good way to end the series. And on top of that, as the last animated, uh, traditional animated episode, it ends on a really nice note. So, overall, Kilala Come Home, kind of pointless. It doesn't really add much to the story. It's not really relevant to the plot. But, you know, A, it's better than most filler episodes I've seen because season four has been extremely exhausted. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of new format we're trying out. We did take a break from the Inuyasha vlogs to focus on the Resort of Vampire vlogs and get that show done. But now that we're kind of enjoying this format where we kind of can show clips here and there of the episode, along with just kind of a, this kind of simple, I guess, style uh, with our vlog reviews with the DVDs in the background and some stuff, um, this might give you a bit more entertainment value, so if you like this format for the vlogs going forward, let us know in the comment section below. So, obviously, let us know your thoughts on uh, Kilala Come Home in the comments below. Support our Patreon, just a dollar more, we'll get you access to all of our content, as well as other special features. And tune in next week when we take a look at what I consider the season finale of season four, uh, because of the way it ends, the way the la this episode, and the way it's structured, along with it being the final um, 2D animated, traditional animated uh, episode of the series. So, until the next video, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. This is Big Jack Film signing off saying, when you lose a pet, don't jump to conclusions. And I'll see you guys in the finale next week. Take it easy. And yes, I have been chewing gum. <laughs>